hello my name is Eric uh, from Games from Hyper and today we are going to explore an advanced building system so let's dive directly into it if you uh, open the project uh, or try the demo uh, you will directly uh, see this project and this project will use a couple of dependencies like an enhanced input system for the controls and also uh, a field system for some chaos destruction but that's optional um, I also have set up some input settings in, uh, and also the trace channels in the project settings. And uh, it has uh, about 10 uh, different uh, trace channels for snapping certain buildables together. However, please know this is optional. So if you don't want so many trace channels in your project, you don't have to. Uh, you can just use the visibility trace, for instance, or just one uh, building trace however um, using it like this makes sure the snapping works just a bit better and it's more intuitive um, to make sure the building system works on your character uh, you need to drag some components that are all included in the system to your character and uh, for the controls um, here you can see you need to press i for opening the inventory system um, and the ui and inventory that you see here is included it is as an example only to show how you are able to interact with this in an, uh, in a real game so if you pr click on crafting or attributes it will show okay and um, this is not implemented um so let's go into the example room uh, to show the basics of the system and let's go uh, over it one by one um these are the direct placement mode and ghost build mode so uh, ghost build mode you need to uh, give bring resources to the actual uh, uh, buildable and i think you have seen that before for instance in games like the forest you play something and you need to get some sticks and some rocks in the world and you need to bring it here in this case it needs four wooden planks and five fiber do we have that in our inventory? Yes, we do have that. So when I press E, first it put, puts in the wooden planks. So it subtracted four wooden planks. And the second time I'm doing it, uh, it puts in the fiber. And now the building is finished. So we can also see that the fiber is subtracted from our inventory. And at the moment the building is finished, um, dependent on what kind of building it is this is an interactable building so we can press e and you see it tries to start interaction however the interactions itself of uh, the inter interact locations is not included because this is a building system for that uh, take a look at my inventory system and that has all the interact locations included this one is uh, placed via direct placement mode and the direct placement mode is um, um, when you have an actual forge in your inventory currently i don't have one and you place it directly and it is uh, finished instantly but that would mean that you need to create the certain structure at a workbench or whatever or in, in your inventory make sure you have that item in your inventory and then place it into the world so uh, I think you've seen that in games like uh, Ark Survival and uh, yeah, I think also in Rust uh, it, it uses direct placement mode. So you are able to switch between these modes however you see fit. Um, let me check this one. Okay, this is data table driven. So I've provided Excel for it. Um, the radio menus are included. Um, there is some damage and repair. So in this case, uh, this buildable is damaged. Uh, and if we go near it, it will show the buildable. I've made a buildable in radius component and the buildable in radius component determines um, uh, within which radius do we need to show uh, this health bar. And showing this health bar is also uh, optional in this case i said okay is it not in full health only show it then so if we are in the radius of these buildables it will not be shown and i can equip this hammer and while looking at this buildable 
I can hold my uh, left mouse button and it will play this animation and you can see that the health of this pill ball is actually increasing. Um, this hammer also has a lot of other functionalities like uh, destructing it. So let's try it and do so. And it's destructed and also said you will gain some resources back. And we actually did. Um, next one is parent and child buildings. Um, if you build something uh, on top of something, it will be able to attach to it. But also if you build in the height uh, like that, um, uh, it's possible to uh, create extensions under it. And if you destruct uh, one of these, all the other attached parent, uh, uh, sorry, child buildings will also be destructed. This is a cool one, aligned to normal. So if you try to uh, uh, place something, uh, it will make sure uh, to align the buildable to the, uh, the rotation uh, of the landscape. And of course, that's optional, so it's Boolean. You can switch it on and off uh, for each buildable. Uh, but for things like campfires, I think you would want it to align with a normal. Um, yeah. What next? Uh, I think, yeah, okay, this one is to show how the snapping logic works. Uh, snapping it is... Uh, made with uh, several uh, uh, trace boxes and these trace boxes here are now made visible to showcase where is it able to snap so if you want to set up your own snapping uh, uh, logic uh, try to look at this and i also have a video somewhere else online uh, to show how you can set up your own uh, uh, settings okay here we have all the meshes i think i have over 100 meshes uh, included on the left we see all our interact locations and on the right we see all our buildables in different stages um, so what you see is i have a, a dummy thatch wood and stone and um, between these levels uh, between thatch wood and stone you're able to upgrade your buildable uh, uh, which of course needs different resources so let's try and build something and um, here we have a building plan and as you can see the building plan is currently equipped in my uh, uh, primary slot and by doing so i can hold my right mouse button and this will open my radio menu i can hover over the different categories and uh, in these categories i'm able to select what i would like so let's go into the wood uh, category and let's make a small structure. So I can uh, rotate this buildable. I can uh, place it down. Let's uh, do three besides each other. I can press Q to uh, stop the build mode again. And here I and can add resources to it. And this is as you need 10 wood for this. So let's add it. I think we would want to have a cool ramp. Let's make a wooden door frame. Um, let's make a window besides it like this. And let's place a normal wall here. Um, I'm also able to rotate uh, this building, uh, like switch it on which side you would want it and by default it is set to the, the right one however and if you really want to change it you're capable of it and i think this would be the right one i hope so yeah it is nice and i was looking at the the poles in the in the ghost building so yeah, now I'm able to add all these uh, resources to it. Mm, let's make sure that we have a wall on the back, like so. Um, maybe do a cool slope above it. 
Uh, uh, for instance, here it's very useful to be able to rotate it like so. Um, first build up one. Oh, uh, we are going to have some overlap on that uh, spot above it. And I think therefore, uh, okay, we are still able to build it there. Um, oh, look at this. By the way, if we try to build this one, we're not capable because it is uh, snapped. Uh, it needs some foundation and the foundation itself is uh, uh, are the sides of, of this wall. So if we have these sides of the wall, we are able to build the sloped roof like so. Okay, um, I think you get the gist of this. Uh, uh, of course, we need a door and uh, the door is indeed interactable like so. Um, we also have these uh, interact locations. So, for instance, uh, we have this drying rack, and this drying drying rack is aligning to the normal. So you can see that it is uh, uh, rotated uh, with the level of the landscape, and of course there is a maximum of it. So, uh, oh, here this this is too steep for the drying rack. So that's an angle that's not accepted, and it will show red. Let's make a drying rack just like so. Maybe also put a cool smelter here. Yes, that looks nice. And what else do we need? Um, I think it is nice to have a forge near our base. Like so. Hmm, maybe we also would want to test out some of the tech structure. So um, let's snap it like this. And we also are able to make these uh, cool triangles uh, to make a bit more complex structures. Um, this one would need a ramp. Oh, yes, I like it like this. And let's make sure to have a kind of a railing. Like so. So now we have made like a small veranda. And on that small veranda, uh, let's make sure that uh, we are able to sit down. Like so. And let's put a table in the middle. It's uh, nice, uh, nicely in the sun. Um, maybe, maybe it needs a bit of roofing. Uh, because if we are in the sun, like this small triangle. Uh, or some uh, blocking of the sun. Yeah, I like it. And let's put a cool water well like this. Okay, well, I think this shows um, the capabilities of the building system quite well. Um, of course, we are able to upgrade this, so um, let's um, make sure that the, the door is going to be upgraded to a stone door, because we don't want anyone to uh, break in. And uh, let's make this uh, railing to wood. Yep, so I think we've shown now all the capabilities, uh, all the core capabilities of the of this building system. Um, it is actually way more extensive than what you just saw. Um, 
but I think this gives a good overview of what the core capabilities are and also how you are able to adapt this to your own liking. So um, I think I will round this video up and I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of it and uh, I hope you have a very nice day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video and of course I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.